and I have way to like let me adjust this I don't know what's going on do I even need, need a room light in the day I don't know but I'm using it anyways because I'm just trying to get used to it anyways hello welcome back to my channel it's finally October it is time to start getting spooky this year I wanted to properly challenge myself um, by doing four videos so each week for this month I'm going to be doing a different Halloween look because I'm obsessed with Halloween um, and because I like to challenge myself and um, these pictures are also these looks are also going to be on my Instagram so if you want to come and follow my Instagram page it is in the description box below if you want to see another finished possibly edited version of these looks but obviously here I'm going to do these because I want to show you the process of them show you me failing at these looks because um, I don't really do sort of this type of creative makeup looks I'm usually more beauty um, but I want to give myself a challenge and also on my beauty Instagram page yes she has a second beauty page Instagram page um, it is Nikki Sparkles Beauty go follow that I'm also doing lip art over on there I'm also doing four lip arts over on that it won't be videos it will just be the lip art um so for this week um i am going to try she says i got all these pictures of a pin dress so credits to owners of the actual i am going to try and recreate this uh beauty right here which is um a jigsaw puppet aka billy if you don't know his name is billy i'm gonna try and sort of recreate this um i don't wear contacts um i don't have contacts um i don't like contacts they irritate the hell out of my eyes so i'll be wearing them and i haven't got a white shirt but i do have um a bow tie which i'm going to be wearing you've probably already seen this look how bad good it looks in the intro to this so well, we're gonna try and recreate this luckily i already have dark hair so yes gonna try and recreate this bad boy um and let's just see how we go so first things first i need to put my hair out of the way because the girl's about to get messy up in here okay first of all prime i found this primer it's got coconut water in it um when I say I found it, I didn't mean I bought it. I mean, well, I did buy it, but I mean, I found it as in I found it. Do I need to shake? Yes, I thought I did need to shake well beforehand. So first, I think I'm just going to put on the really, really white pale base. Oh, that's refreshing. Um, the white pale base. Just to get myself started on this look so I'm going in with like really cheap options for you guys for this look um, apart from I have got a Kylie Cosmetics um, lipstick because I literally don't have any other like red lipstick which is like the right shade so sorry about that but you know I try to do different price ranges for everyone um, so I'm literally going in with literally a white face paint which was a pound from in Wilkinson's um, so I'm just popping that onto my skin yes cover my blemishes and then I'm going in with a foundation brush just to you know sort of stipple it around to try and get some sort of coverage just to start off with probably going to need to do another layer but that's fine 
and it's all part of the process. I'm going to bring it down as well. Come on, girl. Do you think this new foundation is the right colour for my skin, guys? I think it's a pretty good match. <laughs> so, I am just going to make myself as pale as possible. <laughs> I always look ridiculous when I do that. Um, so yeah, make yourself as pale as possible and obviously she probably used like proper, I don't know what she used, props to her, but um, just try and make it as opaque as possible, just to try and you know, make it look like this is your actual skin, which is why I'm using um, a brush so it doesn't so it looks more like, you know, your actual skin. <laughs> oh gosh, this cylinder is not wanting to blend at all. I probably look even whiter. It probably looks, I don't know, I have a ring light now, so I'm like proper, I'm proper beauty girl now, like. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's just double this onto my skin. Let's go onto here. Oh wow, my um, she white. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so I'm just going to um, keep this going until I get the required whiteness. Okay, one to you. I look freaking crazy. I look like um, Mrs. Doubtfire. When did she put her? When she puts her face in the thing? Oh, hello there. Um, that was an awful thing. Right. Okay, concentrate. You are you are a professional beauty girl. Oh my god, I look crazy. So, once you have your white base down. You then, let me just have a look a minute because that, I think we need to go on and do the brows because those are dark and luckily for me, these bad boys are dark. So, I'm going to just go in with my normal brow pomade from Revolution. Is it Revolution? Yes. Um, and I'm gonna just find my brow brush. Hold on, she isn't prepared at all. Seriously, the only brush I can ever find in here is my brow brush. Every single time, no joke. Every single time I go to look for it and I think, oh, she's lost. But she's not, she's literally just hiding. I'm just probably going to do like my normal brows basically. Um, this white base is not, I, I do not recommend this white base um, at all. But you've got to work with what you've got sometimes. I don't know how this is looking on camera. I mean, it looks okay from back here. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am literally just doing my normal brows really, but I'm going to make them a little bit thicker. Ooh, they're turning grey. Um, a little bit thicker just to make them a bit more like hers, because hers are quite thick and dark. Ooh. There we go. Look at that. That is one. I look insane right now. Okay. 
Okay. So, let's do this other one. So all I'm doing is literally underlining the brow where it naturally is. And then overlining it just slightly. Oh, never mind. She messed up a little bit there. It's fine, it's meant to be, it's meant to be spooky, whatever. So, with this, I don't know, challenge thing that I'm, I keep on looking at myself in the mirror and then, because there's a big mirror behind, um, behind my setup, um, I keep on looking at it and thinking, oh dear lord, what am I doing? It's not actually looking too bad right now. I'm just going to be taking the mickey out myself for this entire video. Just in case you were wondering. Okay, I think those brows are just about on and looking crazy. Um, I didn't blend all the way down my neck by the way guys because in the photos when my hair is down bow ties on it's not really gonna make much of a difference because I pay on anyway so um next up I'm going to take hmm let's see she's got a bit of contouring going on um and obviously the she's got some black on her but black 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 um have I got a black anywhere here? See, this is how unorganised I am. A black, black, black. Is this called black? No, that's not black. It's dark, but it's not black. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, I have a black. This, it, look at this. This is how good I am. I have this uh, Make Me Up Small Dot Eyeshadow Palette. I have no idea where I got this from. Or even how long I've had it for. It's probably a bad thing. Okay, so I'm then going to take a little uh, fluffy blending brush and I go in with the black. And I'm just going to kind of blend, sort of contour the, just sort of from the brow down, um, just to create that sort of shadow. It looks crazy right now, but it's probably going to look okay at the end of this. I mean, I hope. <laughs> so, just blending. I might actually do some actual contouring as well. I'm not sure. Um, because it's going to be hidden by my hair, so I don't think I'm going to bother. I mean, if you really want to, go ahead. But, um, I'm not gonna bother too much. My dry skin really does not help this look at all. Oh, girl. <laughs> okay, so she's looking dark right now. Um, let's go in with I bought these the other day. Um, and I thought they would really help that out. These sort of things make oh I love it when that happens. These kind of little bits are cheap, but they do actually help. Um, so what we're going to do is, we're going to do ooh, the eyes. So I'm going to use the black crayon in this. Just kind of put down a little bit of a, of a base. You can just grab. Do I have a black eyeliner? I 
going to grab yourself a normal black eyeliner and pop it on your waterline on the bottom. It doesn't really matter if it's a bit messy because, you know, we are trying to be a puppet here. Ooh, girl. Okay, I'm just going to keep on blotting this sponge. I also use this little makeup sponge. Um, just to help with the blending of the, the base. I'm not gonna take this uh, black crown just to like start off the base here. Cause it doesn't quite matter if it's messy to be honest because we can you know, it does, and you can't really see at all in this, but I'm guessing that she's just got a black base. It just looks very dark. So that is the look. I am going to try and do, so I'm going to just, does it go all the way up? It doesn't go all the way up. It, she does leave a bit. So I'm just going to sort of draw the outline as such and then blend it out and also add on black eyeshadow on top of that. <laughs> sort of sink down the eyes okay so now that we look really insane <laughs> we are now going to move on to the little spirals so we'll take a bread and literally just draw two spirals on either cheek so let's see if I can you could put this on your lips but I, I wouldn't recommend it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a bright red uh, lip colour oh just kind of match the spirals actually which is really good 
Ah, right. This is um, Red Velvet by Kylie. If anyone was wondering. It's the only one that kind of matches what she has. So. There's obviously cheaper alternatives out there, but. I look insane. Absolutely insane. Just kind of buffing it out on the sides just a little bit, just to have that little bit of a smirk look on his face. Okay. Next up, we're going to draw the lines down here. So from the corner, open your mouth all the way down. Basically, in the look, I'm going to pop on some mascara and show you the 